Welcome back to the program 1219. Now Lisa Briggs is here to take your plant calls. Uh, if you have a question about your plant, 608-270-9933. Tell us about some of the beauties that you have with us. Well, we have a couple annuals. Mums okay. are yeah. here. It's getting to be mum season. I know we all hate that because it means summer's fall. on the way yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. We have celosia. This is related to Amish coxcomb. I thought it was beautiful. It is really pretty. Said, it's very yeah. cool. It's kind of fuzzy. It dries really nicely. Okay. This is a grass. Uh, sedum is a really popular fall plant. Okay. This is monarda or bee balm, super fragrant. Huh. And then the purple on the far side is Russian sage. All wonderful plants. Good Thank things you. that are looking good this time of year. I know, the lines are blinking already. Let's they see are if I blinking. Can okay, out. let's. So, Linda from Janesville uh, has a question about her lilacs. And uh, Linda, good morning. How are you? Hi, good. Do you have a question for Lisa? Yes. When would be a good time to transplant lilacs from? Um, like the main bush, if we should wait till spring to try to dig out shoots or not. And then also I heard that egg water, after you use eggs to put those in water and that water is good for plants, is that true? Or is it particular types of plants like acidic plants or, um, I don't know. I have never heard the egg water thing. I'm gonna have to do a little research when I, when I get back to the store. Uh, so that I don't have an answer for you, but the, um, the transplanting of lilac flinda yeah. is really much better done in the spring as soon as you can dig before there's a lot of bulb break or uh, bud break. Why is that? Uh, it's just less stress for the plants. Okay. Uh, Helen in Madison now has a question. Uh, Helen, good afternoon. You're on with Lisa. Helen? Yes. Yes, ma'am. What's your question for Lisa Briggs? Uh, Lisa, I have a philodendron plant. Mm -hmm. It's about three foot tall. Uh, I've had it two and a half years. It looked very healthy. Uh, one time it got a little faded, so I put a little fertilizer in it. Okay. But all of a sudden, uh, it had about a dozen yellow leaves on yesterday. Um, it was fading, and I took about a dozen leaves off. Have you moved it, Helen? Uh, no, it's been sitting okay. in the same place all the time. Then that being said, I suspect it's probably a pot-bound thing, and oh. so maybe you need to uh, get it repotted. After three years, it might be pop bound. All right, uh, Barbara. In uh, Barbara, you're on with Lisa. What's your question? I have a smoke bush that's at least ten years old, and it's only ever blossomed or produced the smoke billows once. Okay, Barbara, do you, you prune it? Why? Do you prune it? Pardon? Do you prune your smoke bush? No, not really. Okay. Um, and is it getting full sun? Yes. Well, the biggest thing for yes. flowering shrubs for not, for not flowering is that they're not getting enough light or they're being pruned at the wrong time. Smoke bushes produce flowers on old growth, so the year before. So if you prune it any time after mid to late June, any cutting back on it, then you're probably cutting the flowers back. So those are the two biggest reasons. You might want to give it um, a blossom booster, so a fertilizer where the middle of those three numbers is the highest number, and that might help. I don't even know that I've heard what a smoke bush is. I'll oh, it's very about. cool. You have yeah. to look it up afterwards. I'm going to go do that. Yeah, All it's right. very cool. Uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is John in Fort Atkinson. John, you're on with Lisa. I have planted my cauliflower in May. And as of this point, it has not started to form heads yet. Oh, my goodness. I was wondering if there's something I'm doing wrong or if there's something I should do to promote the, the growth of heads. Sometimes those heading vegetables like broccoli or cauliflower or cabbage are a little bit tricky. Um, is it, did it have any blossom at all? Oh, I'm sorry. I might have taken oh. them off the phone. Um, what helps sometimes is when it first starts to form a blossom, you kind of form the leaves around it and that that sometimes will encourage it to head it might also be that the soil where it's planted is a little depleted yeah. so it might need some fertilizer i think we have time for one more call uh linda in madison uh squirrel related question linda yes i have a uh, a lot of pots of geraniums around my house and i have probably 15 of them up on my deck and a squirrel keeps coming up there and he yeah. eats all the leaves off of you my want it You'll want to use a repellent, Linda. So something like um, Repelzol or Liquid Fence in a granular form. All right, Lisa, thanks so much. We You're appreciate welcome. it as always, your time. Thank you. It's a little sorry for Linda for rushing. Oh, but. yeah, we apologize for that. We'll be right back. Thank you.